How you doing everyone? Anthony Taylor here and today I want to talk to you about the Memphis Grizzlies and I want to talk to you about talent on your team. So you know one of the things that comes up in strategic planning execution when we're doing strategic planning sessions is well what if we don't have everybody involved or bought into our culture what if we have high performers that don't want to buy into the vision that we're creating and so recently there was the nba trade deadline and this drama came up right over here oh it's over here now with Andre Iguodala not wanting to play for the Memphis Grizzlies. So this guy's not even playing. He's on the team, but not playing. And then you have players that say, you know, we don't want him on the team. If he's not fitting in with our culture, I don't want him to be on our team. And then, you know, there was another quote from here that said, this person was prepared to sit out the entire season if not traded. So we talk about culture a lot. We talk a lot about behaviors. And if you have somebody on your team that might be exceptionally talented, but isn't willing to buy into the team culture, the team vision, or willing to like get on the bus and play with everybody, then you got to get them off. Recently, Andre Iguodala ended up getting traded out of there. And there's sort of a collective sigh of relief. Um, from the members of the team. But what you want to think about is anytime you don't have somebody fully bought in, they are uh, moving against the culture that you're trying to create. So it's super important that whether it's in your planning session itself or whether it's in the execution of your plan, that you have everybody on your team bought in. Otherwise, it wastes a bunch of energy, it causes a bunch of drama, and you're ultimately gonna have challenges and roadblocks on your way to creating your successful strategic plan. So I hope that gives you something to look at in terms of even if you have players on the bench that aren't actively moving the team forward, they can pull back your culture and pull back what you want to accomplish. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's little culture minute, and I hope it helps you create the organization that you want.